My name is Gordon Dutton, and I'm a retired uh, ophthalmologist with an interest in pediatric ophthalmology and an interest in cerebral visual impairment. Cerebral visual impairment, or cortical visual impairment, as it is referred to in some nations, comprises a condition in which injury or dysfunction in the parts of the brain responsible for vision uh, causes visual difficulties. These can range in severity from complete blindness to uh, just perceptual visual difficulties such as impairment of recognition of the language of facial expression or the recognition of uh, people's faces or objects, which is known as object agnosia. And for each person that's affected, they have their own unique pattern. Adults can be affected by focal brain injury within the visual brain the visual brain comprising the occipital lobes responsible for uh, acuity, colour, contrast perception, the visual fields and a bit further forwards the middle temporal lobes serving the perception of movement. The temporal lobes serving the image library so that we know what we're looking at, whether it is uh, a tree, uh, an object, a person, and each of these elements are stored within our minds. And the posterior parietal lobes, which is responsible for mapping the visual scene without true conscious awareness to enable us to move freely through the world. So that one can understand that injury to the brain can affect any one of those functions in any combination, severity, or permutation. For Children who may be born with a brain injury, this has now become the commonest cause of visual impairment in the developed world and may be an important cause uh, in the developing world as well. And the key is that we need to understand this condition so that we can help those who have such impairments to be able to live a meaningful and happy life. The first approach to adopt is to ensure that everything that a child has to learn is accessible and meaningful. And to do this, we need to profile the vision which is present and ensure that the way we communicate is accessible by being of sufficient size if the acuity is down, sufficient contrast if contrast is impaired, and if there are problems with recognition, that alternative methods of recognition, such as touch, are being used to supplement and help teach uh, th these children. It's a very large subject, and in essence, the key is to recognize that there is so much that can be done to help people now that we recognize that 40% of the brain is devoted to vision and that not, not only motor activities, but also visual activities can be responsive to neuroplastic change. And that by ensuring that people are motivated and able to perceive their worlds and can be able to learn as much as possible through the vision that they have, enables us to provide a useful and effective service for children and adults alike.